Well, my fucking grandma, <laughs> fucking grandma came and rescued this finally. I knew she would, but fuck, man, that was a little longer of a clip for it, right for Yep. They, they've kind of overpaid me there, but let's see if I, oh, shit. They're not going to let us out yet. Uh. The girls are a little traumatized, as am I, but <laughs> as am I, uh, and as is to be expected. The road led to a dead end, so I'm going to turn around. Thank you for wanting to come back with Grandma. No fucking way would I want to be any fucking little else. I enjoyed my time in jail, but... But I don't want to live with nobody but my Grandma. I didn't know that this is actually not just a shelter, it's a dang campus for dogs and cats. Did you have fun? I think you had fun. You may not want to have had admit it, but I think you had fun. I was uh, detained, not arrested, not... Um, charged with anything, but the cops came to my back porch and put handcuffs on me and carted me to the behavioral health wing of the hospital at St. Vincent's. And, uh, and they took Dobby and Sunshine to jail here at the shelter. And that was eight, d eight days ago. So... It wasn't this last Friday, but the week before, no, it was a Monday, sorry, it was a Monday, and today is a Tuesday. So, eight days later, they finally let me out of the hospital, all the time assuring me that I was self-admitted. I said, well, if I'm self-admitted, then I'm self-released, let me out of here. I didn't say it like that, but, and they said, no, you got to meet all our criteria. Okay, what are the criteria for me to meet? And then I did my damn best to meet them. And finally got out, but had to put up a, a fight. Had to really argue and on behalf, you know, and advocate for myself. And then the first thing I did was, after the Uber brought me home to my car and my house, was get my car and come out to this shelter and work for a couple hours to get the dogs out of the pot. And my daughter, Sydney, paid for it. And they also have a program that helped pay for part of it, which was nice. But they first said they were gonna pay for all of it, that there was gonna be no fees. And then they changed their minds. So, very professional, but whatever the fuck, you know. And so, um, and what happened, I was telling those cops when they were whatevering me, uh, that my dogs needed to be taken care of, and I was trying to tell them that I have a cat, and they wouldn't listen. They just absolutely refused to listen. So when I got home today, this is eight days later, it looked like the maintenance man must have heard the cat yowling in there and got into the house um, and moved all the shit around, that's why I know, and let the cat out. Those cops were supposed to fucking listen, not put your animal, that's against the law, to put an animal in 
you know, a dangerous situation like that. But the cops did it without any what, what accountability. That's why I have this show, dudes. I have this show so I can hold other fucking people accountable. Because I'm like that. I'm just like that. I just was, I was born like that. I've lived like that. I've been like that. I will, I am currently like that. And I will forever fucking be like that. That's, YouTube, I'm telling you audience, YouTube gives you a voice. Maybe, yes, it is, it got the same issues of restrictions and this and that and that. But generally, overall though, it gives us a voice. And so I can tell on BNG Towing and say they fucking came in and were completely illegal and destroyed my car. I can say that all I want. It's my fucking channel. And I can say that these people out here, as nice as almost all of them were, um, did promise that the cost of program was going to cover all the fees of my, of this, uh, you know, dog stay. And then at the last minute, changed their mind. They have their reasons. They have their argument. Why? They can start their own fucking YouTube channel. at the hospital I promoted our show with everybody. That's going on. With everybody, you know. So and I was I even promoted it out there. So by the time the employee that I gave the card to watches it, he could be watching this one. I don't 
want to, the thing about being angry with me, being angry and being out in the world is I'll fucking yell at people. And I don't want to. So all we have to do is get my girls back in the house with me and just fucking hide out until I'm not angry anymore. And that's not going to happen. But I can, you know, do my best to just fucking hide out my house. That's what I want to do. Clean my house. And God that will show up on the back porch at some point. She didn't have any water. Somebody must have heard her yowling and, and reported it to the office and they came in and dug her out from under bed. When you're in the behavioral health unit, you can't just call people. You cannot call people. You can call people number you uh, have memorized and you can call people if they let you get your phone and get some numbers off of it but you cannot use your phone at all not to pay bills not to make phone calls not to communicate in any way there's one phone for everybody on the ward and that's who it's that's how it's used so if i want to call pnm i better wait you know i gotta wait for those of you who don't know what pnm is it's the electric company if i want to call the gas company no nope, gotta wait till you get fucking home and they had turned off my phone but i was able to get that turned on within about half an hour so, I'm going to give my girls some chicken when we get home, before we get out of the car. Okay, dudes, may this be hilarious. May it be hilarious, but the message gets through, too. Because the message is going to get through. They almost, they could have killed my cat. And they've given me no fucking reason why I was carted away from my fucking home just because I answered the fucking door. Word to the wise, never answer your door. Thanks for hanging with me, dudes. And if, if anyone from the hospital is out there watching this right now, yo, I love ya.